What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So I'm back with my segment, Ego Rescored, and it's basically where I have a second viewing of a fight, popular fight, and this time, instead of being in the moment, living in the moment, I actually take notes, write down, and record what I've seen, and give you my actual scorecard, because a lot of times for the big fights, um, the first viewing, I don't actually score it. I'm just drinking, hanging with friends. And just trying to enjoy the fight and relax. So I did watch Amir Khan versus Luis Colazo again. The first day when they initially aired on May 3rd, I was flipping in between. I mean, I was watching the fight, but in between rounds, I didn't really get to hear what they were saying because I was flipping back and forth to the Golden State Warriors game, hoping they would um, win game seven, which they didn't. And now Mark Jackson got fired. But um this time, it gave me an opportunity to just watch it entirely, no interruptions, no distraction. I had the time, so I rewatched it, and I pretty much feel the same way. I think Amir Khan looked really good. I don't know if my tone wasn't up to par for some of you guys, but Amir Khan, he looked good, and I gave Khan props for taking a tough fight. Luis Colazo had some momentum with the Victor Ortiz upset, and this was Amir Khan's first fight at welterweight, and he fought a more responsible fight. Um, We'll go round by round. I'll let you know what I thought. As you guys can see, this is my scorecard. And I gave it to Amir Khan, obviously. 117 to 106, Luis Colazzo losing. And round one, pretty much a filler round. I gave it to Khan just because he was raining down with right hands. Round two, Khan not staying in Colazzo's counter-punching range too long. He was throwing mostly singles and then moving out. At two minutes and five seconds, Colazzo comes up with his hands down at his waist. Khan makes him pay with a combination. Khan engages holding towards the end of the round, then sneaking in some scoring blows with his free arm. At one minute and six seconds, Khan lands a few nice lefts, jabs to the body. And the thing I like about the jab to the body is that's a, a punch that I've seen Mayweather capitalize on. He used it in the Marcos Maidana fight, but Marcos Maidana outweighed him severely by like 17 pounds. Marcos Maidana was a big boy on fight night. He was weighing 165, so it might not have had as much effect. And it looked like Maidana was in good shape. But he also used that same punch to the body that I'm talking about Khan using in the Zab Judah fight. So I love that punch. I've seen Andre Ward use it as well. And at one minute and six seconds, you'll see Khan use that, which is good. Um, round two, Khan just remains defensive while Colazzo unloads. And when punches stop coming then that's when Khan counters so he's kind of blocking um kind of shelled up a little bit and when Colazzo stops punching that's when Khan engages so round three at two minutes and 10 seconds Khan doubles up on his rights he makes Colazzo retreat and what I'm most impressed with Khan in this round is his transition what I mean by that he transitions nicely from the clinch or his defensive positions to offense and it's probably because he has really fast hands and it looks like his reflexes and response time look to me to be improved. So I liked how Khan was going from a clinch to immediately letting his hands go into a combination or a defensive position to letting his hands go. So I also gave that round to Khan. Round four, Khan scores a knockdown at two minutes and 42 seconds with a short, very short right. It was very impressive because Khan has long, lanky arms and he had very little room to maneuver and he, he snuck that short right in um, after the knockdown Khan gets more aggressive with his combinations um, he gets caught at one minute and 27 seconds from Colazzo it's a left that seems to wake Khan up Colazzo walks towards him with his hands down looking like he's trying to bait him into a brawl looking for a home run punch round five very competitive round could have went either way it was anybody's round but I gave it to Khan I think he stole it with the late rally flurry round six at two minutes and 36 seconds you'll see Colazzo he gets clubbed with a stiff right hand. Khan pushes him to the ropes and takes some space. So this is kind of what Virgil Hunter's working on with Khan, whereas he doesn't get caught in the exchanges too long. And this is a perfect example around six of that. And then at two minutes and 34 seconds, Khan lets his hands go nicely with the left-right combination. Colazzo's following him. And the thing that was bothering me about Colazzo is not taken away from Amir Khan. It's just what I've seen. Colazzo was following him like he's this massive power puncher. He's getting tagged because Khan is speed and he has long arms and he's just walking right into it and he's not establishing a jab or doing any kind of body work. He's just simply walking through the front door, which is instant failure. You know what I mean? When you're boxing someone as fast as 
and sharp as Amir Khan. Round 7, at 1 minute and 50 seconds, Khan bombs on Colazzo with a nice right hand. 1 minute and 33 seconds, Colazzo gets frustrated with the holding. Both fighters are talking shit to each other for that particular round. I also gave that to Khan. Round 8, Colazzo deducted a point for a low blow early in the round at 2 minutes and 18 seconds. There's a nice body shot by Colazzo while he has Khan pinned against the ropes. 1 minute and 6 seconds, Khan gets tagged with a nice left hook. Previously, Colazzo was talking to Khan around the, the 1 minute and 20 second mark. And that's where I think we've seen the old habit of Amir Khan resurface. He seems to get baited into the wrong type of fight. And I think this was an example because he did get caught at 1 minute and 6 seconds. But this time, it didn't end up costing him the fight. Colazzo didn't capitalize on it. But he got caught with a nice left hook. And that's the punch that Danny Garcia hurt Khan with as well. Round 9, Colazzo putting together some good punches upstairs and downstairs at 1 minute and 59 seconds. He um, Khan backs up. Khan responds promptly with laser fast 1-2 combos, keeping Colazzo at the end of his punches, which is exactly what he wants to do. I think Khan lacks an inside fight game that was apparent in the Lamont Peterson fight. So he was doing exactly what he was doing, keeping Colazzo at bay. Khan delivers a beautiful body shot at one minute, and then he moves out. So, again, what Virgil Hunter is working on Khan with is knowing when to exchange and when to be more fluid. Round 10, Khan getting off his shots first, pot shotting. Khan's speed looks very sharp, very apparent. One minute and 58 seconds, Khan steps in with the three-punch combo. Then he triples the jab, and then Khan hooks to the body at one minute and 46 seconds. Left hooks to the body. Then goes upstairs with a combination. And then he just mauls Colazzo at 1 minute and 42 seconds. Delivers another slicing body shot. I told you in the first video, the immediate video that I did post-fight, that his he's an underrated body puncher. And he has those long arms and he has accuracy. So it he delivers them well. Um, Colazzo back straight up like a dummy. That was not a good look. Back straight up to the ropes. Khan uses his long arms to tag him two more times as he's going to the ropes, back and straight up. And I don't know if if it was just me, but Khan is like fucking doll scene from Street Fighter 2. Remember the Yoga Flame? Yoga? Yoga? <laughs> the dude with the long ass arms that stretch. His arms look incredibly long. And the way he delivers the punches, um, he just has very lanky arms. Um, anyway, like I said, Colazzo back straight up to the ropes and he was getting tagged. Then at 1 minute and 19 seconds, Khan gives himself a little bit more space to work with instead of smothering his work, something that Green Mayfield does, and they have the same trainer. And at 1 minute and 19 seconds, like I said, Khan delivers a chopping right. There's a delayed reaction, and then Colazzo goes down. And on the way down, Khan has his hands are so fast that he, he caught him again. Colazzo just looks gassed. He looks like he doesn't really want anymore. Um, Colazzo gets up. They count him in. And he, he gets bullied against the ropes. He, he starts complaining to the referee and he gets dropped again. Um, but when he was against the ropes, he he dodged some of the last... No. At 1 minute and 19 seconds, Khan delivers a chopping right. Colazzo has a delayed reaction and then he goes down. And Khan's hand speed is so fast that he even hit him again on the way down, which is legal. You just can't hit a downed opponent. Um, the ref counts him, and then Colazzo get, gets back up, but he looks really gassed. He looks frustrated. He looks broken down. Um, he starts complaining to the ref, and he gets lit up, knocked down. Colazzo's bullying him. Colazzo's getting bullied against the ropes, but he did dodge some of that last-minute assault. Clearly, Khan's best round in round 10, two knockdowns. So um, you see my scorecard. Round 11, close round, could have went either way. Khan clinched more and pot shotted. I did give the round to Colazzo for landing the harder shots, in my opinion. Round 12 was, um, and actually, I think it was round 11. Virgil Hunter was getting mad after the end of the round, um, how Khan was fighting. Uh, round 12, Khan pushed Colazzo's head down. Colazzo gets frustrated, hit Khan low. So that delayed the fight a little bit. And pretty much this round, Khan's sticking and moving, circling away. Colazzo can't effectively cut off the ring. Again, he's using no jab to get in close. He landed a few shots, but I gave it to round, the round to Khan as well. So um, I think that's a fair assessment of the fight.
Khan looked sharp. He had that ac accuracy. He had long arms, precision punching. He had the speed. The speed was definitely on display, and that definitely carried up to 147 with him. Colazzo, I still feel the same way that I felt initially in terms of I'm not taking away from Khan's victory, but he didn't do things to put himself in a good position to win fighting with his hands down. But he did say that he broke his left hand somewhere in that fight. So maybe that was one of the reasons. Maybe he was just trying to land that money shot. Maybe he was in pain and just trying to have a poker face or give Amir Khan different looks. But overall, great performance by Amir Khan. He did exactly what he had needed to do to win. He got shook up in one of the rounds. Um, and he, he shook it off promptly. So props. We'll see what Amir Khan does next. That is my ego rescored Amir Khan versus Luis Colazzo. And if you guys scored it, tell me what your score was. Let me know. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off. Mm -hmm.